What is going on YouTube? It is Cup360 and some preliminary benchmarks of the Battlefield 4 Alpha of different GPUs came out. Now, this is a um, disclaimer, guys. Please remember that this game is in Alpha, okay? It is in Alpha. This will not, this will pretty much not reflect at all the actual performance of these GPUs, but this is just something that you guys can see. Um, I'm going to be saying average frames per second, um, average FPS, sorry. Because um, that's just the best way to say it. This is at 1920x1080, by the way, with 4 times MSAA. I'm assuming that everything is set to Ultra. I'm just under the assumption because it doesn't specify, but I'm assuming it would be because I don't know why it wouldn't be. And um, yeah, so let's get into it. I'll put a link to the description. There's so many different like benchmark charts. There's 1920x1080, um, 2560x1600, and then there's like temperatures. And CPU performance and micro stuttering. Um, you're just gonna have to look at the website. But anyway, guys, I'll go straight to it. I'm gonna go from lowest to highest. So first, we have the Radeon 5770, 10 frames per second. 550 Ti, 11 frames per second. Radeon 7750, 11 frames per second. GTX 650, 13 frames per second. Radeon 6850, 13 frames per second. Radeon 7770, 15 frames per second. Radeon 6870, 17 frames per second. Uh, GTX 460, 17 frames. The Radeon 5850, 17 frames per second. GTX 650 Ti. Not the boost, it's the T, um, 650 Ti, 19 frames per second. Radeon 6950, 19 frames per second. The GTX 560, 20 frames per second. The Radeon 5870, 21 frames per second. GTX 470, 22 frames per second. GTX 560 Ti, 22 frames per second. The Radeon 6970, 22 frames per second. The Radeon 7850, which is around, it's a bit worse than the PS4 GPU, but it's the closest thing to it. That is also at 22 frames per second. GTX 480, 27 frames per second. The GTX 570, also 27 frames per second. The GTX 660, 28 frames per second. The Radeon 7870, 27 frames per second. The GTX 580, 32 frames per second. The Radeon 7950, 30 frames per second. So that's lower than the 580 and lower than the 660 Ti, which is a shock um the gtx 660 ti is 33 frames per second the gtx 7 670 sorry is 35 frames per second the radeon 7970 is 34 frames per second the gtx 680 is 40 frames per second the radeon 6990 is also 40 frames per second the radeon 7970 gigahertz edition is also oh no is 37 frames per second the GTX 770 is 43 frames per second. The GTX 590 is 48 frames per second. The GTX 780 is 53 frames per second. The GTX Titan is one frame higher at 54 frames per second. The 7990 Radeon, that's the dual GPU, 61 frames per second. The Ares 2, 69 frames per second. The GTX 690, 71 frames per second. And GTX 780 in SLI mode, two-way, 71 frames per second. Now, whew, I'm sure that's a lot of stuff to take in, guys, but... Anyway, I'm sure you guys might be a bit shocked that the numbers are so low for some of the graphics cards. But once again, this is poor optimization. It's in alpha. I don't expect anything to be good at this point. Don't be worried. We're still, we'll still need to see optimization for when the game, for when the game comes out. I really do talk too quickly. Um, you'll be fine. It's like just seeing a Radeon 7950 going only at 30 average and say 24 minimum is what it's at. Whoa, that's... It's just, you guys just need to rate, you need to calm down. There's no way the game is that intense. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Um, it's it's pretty interesting stuff. I'll link this to, into the description. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later.